So today is December 10th, 2019. So I want to tell you about an event that happened on this date in history and has continued until today. December 10th, 1901, the first Nobel Prizes were awarded. Nobel Peace Prize is one of five Nobel Prizes established by the will of Swedish industrialist, inventor, and armaments manufacturer, Alfred Nobel, and it's along with the prizes for chemistry, physics, physiology or medicine, and literature. Now, Alfred Nobel was a chemist, and unfortunately, he invented dynamite, and he invented another um, explosive that he actually watched, witnessed people using against other people, which is probably why he invented the Nobel Peace Prize, but nobody's really sure why. So with regard to the Peace Prize, in the will of Alfred Nobel, it stipulated that it was to be awarded to the person who shall have done the most or the best work for fraternity between nations, for the abolition or reduction of standing armies, and for the holding and promotion of peace congresses. And over the course, over since then, the Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded in recognition of many different kinds of peace work and concepts of peace. The earliest peace, prize, peace prizes, up to World War I, the prize was often awarded to pioneers of the organized peace movement. In the interwar years between World War I and World War II, the focus shifted to active politicians who sought to promote international peace, stability, and justice by means of diplomacy and international agreements but the prizes were also awarded for humanitarian work. Since World War II, the Peace Prize has principally been awarded to honor efforts in four main er areas, arms control and disarmament, peace negotiation, democracy, and human rights. Democracy and human rights and work aimed at creating a better organized and more peaceful world. In the 21st century, the committee has also started looking at ways to um, limit the harm done by man-made climate change and threats to the environment in order to award the Peace Prize. So, December 10th, 1901, Henry Dunant it was a co-recipient for his role in founding the International Committee of Red Cross. 1930, uh, December 10th, 1931, Jane Addams became a co-recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. She was the first American woman to do so. For her, it was for her social reform work and leading the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. And, yeah. December 10th, 1950, Dr. Ralph J. Bunchy was presented the Nobel Peace Prize. He was the first African American to receive the award. And he was awarded the prize for his efforts in mediating between Israel and the na um, neighboring Arab states. December 10th, 1964, the Nobel Peace Prize was presented to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As a campaigner, campaigner for civil rights, he was the first person in the Western world to have shown us that a struggle can be waged for, without violence. And that's what the Nobel Committee said. 1979, it wasn't necessarily December 10th, but we're gonna go with it anyways. Mother Teresa was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. She was the founder of Missionar Missionaries of Charity. In recognition of her work in bringing help to suffering humanity, she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. On December 10, 1984, South African Bishop Desmond Tutu received the Nobel Peace Prize as a unifying leading figure in the campaign to resolve the problems of apartheid in South Africa. The uh, committee said, Though the award of this year's Peace Prize, through the award of this year's Peace Prize, the committee wishes to direct attention to the nonviolent struggle for liberation to which Desmond Tutu belongs, a struggle which black and white South Africans unite to bring their country out of conflict and crisis. In 1989, not necessarily on December 10th, but still we're going to go with it, the Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided, decided to award the 1989 Nobel Peace Prize to the 14th Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gatso, the religious and political leader of the Tibetan people. The committee wants to emphasize the fact that the Dalai Lama, in his struggle for the liberation of Tibet, consistently has opposed the use of violence. He has instead advocated peaceful solutions based on tolerance and mutual respect 
in order to preserve the historical and cultural history of his people. The Dalai Lama has developed his philosophy of peace from a great reverence for all things living and upon the concept of universal responsibility, embracing all mankind as well as nature. In the opinion of the committee, the Dalai Lama has come forward with constructive and forward-looking proposals for the solution of international conflicts, human rights issues, and global environmental problems. Yay. December 10, 1994, Yasser Arafat, Shimon Peres, and Yixat Rabin received the Nobel Peace Prize. They pledged to pursue their mission of healing the Middle East. Now, I don't know if you noticed it, but there was an omission there. And that person who was omitted was Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1937, 1938, 1939, 1947, and finally a few days before his assassination in January of 1948. The omission has been publicly regretted by later members of the Nobel Committee. They said, the greatest omission in our 106 year history is undoubtedly that Mahatma Gandhi never received the Nobel Peace Prize. Gandhi could do without the Nobel Peace Prize, but whether the Nobel Committee can do without Gandhi is a question. In 1948, following Gandhi's death, death, the Nobel Committee declined to award a prize on the grounds that there was no suitable living candidate that year. Later, when the Dalai Lama was awarded the Peace Prize in 1989, the chairman of the committee said that this was in part a tribute to the memory of Mahatma Gandhi. So, three times the Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to the International Committee of the Red Cross, the one who received the first one. That's in addition to the first one. And that was in the year of 1917, during the First World War, 1944, during the Second World War, and 1963, which was to honor them for the 100 years of service. So, December 10th, 2019, drum roll please. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2019 to Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed Ali for his effort to achieve peace and international cooperation, and in particular, for his decisive initiative to resolve the border conflict with neighboring Eritrea. Eritrea. How do you say it? Eritrea. She's been in Ethiopia. The prize is also meant to recognize all the stakeholders working for peace and recon uh, re reconciliation in Ethiopia and in the East and Northeast African regions. So Abin, Abiy Ahmed Ali, he's Prime Minister of Ethiopia and he's been there for two years. And he spent his first 100 days as Prime Minister lifting the country's state of emergency, granted amnesty to thousands of political prisoners, discontinuing media censorship, legalizing outlawed opposition groups, dismissing military and civilian leaders who are suspected of corruption, and significantly increasing the influence of women in Ethiopian political and community life. He has also pledged to strengthen democracy by holding free and fair elections. Since 2018, he has, um, he has helped to broker peace between Ethiopia and Eritrea, but he also had assistance from the president of a president of an Eritrea, President Asias Afurki, and they, they both got together and formalized the peace process between the two countries. Abiy Ahmed Ali went on to broker peace deals in South Sudan and a transition agreement in the Republic of the Sudan. And in September of 2018, he and his government tr contributed significantly to the normalization of diplomatic relationships between Eritrea and Djibouti after many years of political hostility. Additionally, Abi Ahmed Ali has sought to mediate between Kenya and Somalia in their protracted conflict over rights of a disputed marine area. And the Norwegian Nobel Committee hopes that the Nobel Peace Prize will be will strengthen Prime Minister Abiy in his important work for peace and reconciliation. Now, these are some of the awards that he has been nominated for or received since 2018. The Most Excellent Order of the Pearl of Africa, Grand Master. The Order of the Zayed Medal, High Rank Peace Award. Order of King Abdulaziz. 
with Saudi Arabia. Nominee for Tipperary International Peace Award, one, one of the 100 most influential Africans of 2018. African of the Year, one of the 100 most influential people of 2018. One of the 100 global thinkers of 2019. Personality of the Year, the African Excellence Award for Gender, the Humanitarian and Peacemaker Award, the laureate of the 2019 edition of the Felix Hupari Bargni. It's a, it's a UNESCO Peace Prize. The Chatham House of Peace, the Chatham House Prize 2019 nominee. Peace Award for Contribution of Unity to Ethiopian Muslims. World Tourism Award 2019. Hessian Peace Prize. African Association of Political Consultants Award. And of course, the Nobel Peace Prize. Kind of makes you see bodhisattvas in the here and now, doesn't it? 